we have yet another asteroid alert. An astronomer photograph of a 990 meter potentially hazardous asteroid approaching Earth today. Actually in about four or five hours from now, UTC time. It seems that we have a lot more asteroids approaching Earth than we used to. Is that our imagination? I don't think so. Sebastian Kentley Express UK reports on this. This asteroid is large enough to cause a worldwide level of damage to Earth. Photographed by approaching our planet this week. Astronomers predict the asteroid dubbed 1998 HL1 will close in on our planet later this evening. This is October 25th, today as I'm talking to you. At its closest, the asteroid will be seen from Earth at around 6.21 p.m. BST or 5.21 p.m. UTC. Astronomer is Guanluca Massi of Virtual Telescope Project in Italy. That person snapped a terrifying image of the space rock which was approaching us this week. The asteroid is dated October 23rd, featured bright spot of light. It's cutting across a starlit field, and the bright spot is the asteroid HL1. It's about 6.6 .6 kilometers from Earth. That's 4.1 million miles from Earth. The image was taken over a 300 second long exposure using a robotic telescope. Dr. Massey said the telescope tracked the apparent motion of the asteroid. This is why stars show as small trails, while the asteroid looks like a sharp dot of light in the center of the image, indicated with the white arrow. In the imaging time, the potential hazard asteroid PHA 1998-HLI was about 4.1 million miles from the Earth, and it was heading to the close approach when it will be 1 million kilometers closer than here. And despite the asteroid's deceptively small appearance in this image, asteroid HL1 poses a potential threat to Earth. Dr. Massey called HL1 a potentially hazardous asteroid, or PHA for short. That's because of its sheer size and its close approach to Earth. Now, NASA estimates that HL1 measures somewhere around the range of, the range of 1,443 feet to 3,248 feet across, in diameter that is, so you can understand how huge it is. According to NASA, any asteroid or comet upwards of 0 0.6 miles, one kilometer, which is just about this one here, this is 990 uh, meters, could have worldwide effects. Now, we're thankful that HL1 will not come close enough to us today for NASA to sound the alarm bells, but Dr. Massey said the asteroid is large enough for astronomers with a 150 millimeter diameter telescope to spot it from Earth. He said around the flyby time, the asteroid will be visible with amateur telescopes as well, provided they will be at least 150 millimeters in diameter. So if you have a telescope, most of you who have, I'm sure, have good ones, you'll be able to see it. Those having digital imaging equipment can record 1998 HLI and its motion even with smaller telescope, he said. Dr. Massey and the virtual telescope will broadcast the asteroids flyby live over the Internet today, by the way, for those of us like me who don't have a telescope. And there's a link here how you can find and watch this incredible approach. At its closest, asteroid HL1 will approach the planet from a distance of 0.04155 astronomical units. And as we know, one unit is 93 million miles. It's the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Now, asteroid HI1 will shorten this down to only 3.86 million miles. And when that happens, NASA estimates HL1 will be flying at speeds of about 11.21 kilometers per second, or 25,076 miles an hour. NASA claims that as they orbit the Sun, 
these near-Earth objects can occasionally approach close to Earth. Note, though, that the close passage or close approach to Earth, astronom Earth astronomically can be very far away in our human terms, millions or even tens of millions of miles. Now, unless, of course, they undergo the Yarkovsky effect, especially if they're small, that's very easy to be done, when the sun heats up the surface of the asteroid, causing it to have a temperature differential, and it's as if something bombards the surface, causing it to tumble on its axis. That's what happened to a small asteroid about 40 feet across. This was uh, July 25th. It was supposed to pass us beyond our moon and sail into the wild blue, wild dark black yonder of space. That didn't happen because it came careening into us and slammed into the Caribbean Ocean because of the Yarkovsky effect. The sun's radiation causing a temperature differential on the surface of that asteroid, causing it to tumble on its axis and lose its trajectory coming tumbling into Earth. Uh, that usually happens with the small ones. They don't believe it happens with the big ones that easily, but we have no idea. So again, uh, I'll leave a link below for you for this and those who are interested could click to find out how you can watch this approach online. Now, I did make a mistake. I thought it was in five hours. The live broadcast will begin in seven hours. Uh, so, uh, in seven hours from now, they will start tracking it live. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.